Morning, Malk. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm just putting my bed away. Yeah, too bad. Can you... Oh, I thought you couldn't get out your door then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I Malk's walked in. Right. Yeah. Uh, welcome back, everybody, to another Corpy episode. Mm -hmm. And uh, first off, many thanks for all the likes and people subscribing and all the comments. It is always massively appreciated. It is. Um, we again are recording ahead of time. So this is episode 20, which is actually recorded, what, about a week in advance now? Yeah, so, I mean, the uh, day after episode 18 came out. Yes, so it's actually, we recorded this on the 19th of the 3rd. Yeah. So um, it's about a week in advance, but um, in the end of the last episode, we put our new production in, our sawmill, and it's been pretty busy. It this. really has, hasn't it? I can't believe how much we've got. I mean, there's 4,500 litres of planks still inside it, so... Uh, what's out here? I'll 10, so nearly 15,000 litres of planks. That's going to be good, but um, we're not always going to be able to fill this up with planks, though, are we? Or wood, so... No. It's going to be one of them where we're going to get it full up and then leave it to churn through and hopefully get yeah. enough yeah. time saved up to sell some planks and get some money going. So, right. So, I was thinking, Malk, hmm. maybe... Um, you should cut down a few of these little bits of trees that are left. And yeah, sort of the, just around uh, here. Just make a nice... Sort out the stumps quick. Nice bit of area um, here for something at some point. I'm I'm going to run and sort out... So I've got a bit of a plan. I was thinking I'm going to do some saw sampling very quickly. Yeah, we need that. We need um, that. And then you can do some liming to get that field's pH in line, which will yeah. obviously help our PF score again. Which would be nice. Yeah, it will. Yeah. And also, um, so when I'm when I've done the uh, saw something, I'm also going to pick up pick up some more bags of lime for you because I think you're going to need them. I would say. And we will, then yeah. I'm going to get the cedar going. I think. So if you give me a second, Ooh, I need to drop this weight off. There we go. I need to drive the uh, cheap Hurleyman knockoff out of the way. And get the sampler going. Okay. It shouldn't take too long to sample this. I mean, I think we're probably going to do a little bit more logging as well at the end, near the end of the episode. Yeah. Well, I think these planks, when we come to sell them, they're going to be quite, uh, quite profitable. Lucrative. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. So, I think they'll should be go a good way to funding our next plot of land, which I think we've already talked about where we want it to be. Uh, and we're going to have to cut an access road in to get to it, so, you yeah, know, if we're going to take any trees down, down, that's probably where it's going to be. But we probably want to, oh, that was close. We also want to probably save up enough money, before, I think, the one thing we do need to do before we do get another pot of land, we need to get a bigger combine. Yeah, yeah it's I think... nice and bright. I think at the moment, combine is sort of our, our pinch point in terms of expansion. Our cedars are good, uh, so I don't think we really need any more equipment other than a combine at the moment. No, I mean, I think maybe making sure this tractor's fully upgraded with power would not be a bad idea. Yeah, which one's that? As well, uh, the Valtra, because oh, yeah. it needs to be... Because it yeah. can be 145, can't it, instead of 110, so that might yeah. help us, but then... Um, I'm thinking probably at some point, because we're going to start using a few more workers here and there for a few of the more mundane jobs, maybe. Yeah, um, definitely. Like weeding, etc. We could probably look at maybe putting the horse pack on and then right. using a slightly bigger weeder because um, they've got some pretty nice weeders in the horse pack. Because so, I think we do need to obviously just keep with the whole mechanical weeding now unless yeah, we want to spend what 100 grand is it on the spot spreader i'm not spot sure what it is but yeah um i mean it would be a spot sprayer would be quite efficient once you you know in terms of herbicide use and probably quicker I've, than I've any mechanical weeder no i've never used one yet so i kind of think that's the reason we should get one because neither of us have used it but oh, we'll see how it goes anyway yeah, I mean, it's not a bad idea, though, is it, really? No, um, not at all. So, I mean, I've got, I've got... I've got half of the field 
done, so right. Well, I've got the too bad. I've got the trees down that we want to do, so I just need to move the rest of them. That's good. Um, I mean, it's going to be quite good if we have that at the back, so I think it'll give us the ability to have a bit of a path around the yeah. back at some point, won't it? Just to yeah. Put, just to put something in if you want to put a, a route up to the other other field, you know, because at some point we're probably going to buy that other pot, aren't we? Oh yeah, I we will. Well, yeah, I mean, we'll buy as many plots as we can. That's the uh, that's the goal, I suppose. Yeah, but we also want to get productions in as well, don't we? So we I do. think we need to. That's why we want to get this one, this field full of sorghum, to put yeah. through the mill again, because that's going to make a big difference. That is, I think. Yeah, I mean, definitely a bakery to go with that, um, and then. Possibly a carpentry shop. Now we're making planks. Do with chickens. Yeah, but yeah, chickens and um, what we're going to do for sugar. That's we're going to need sugar, so we'll need a sugar mill at some point, and then well, we can make cakes in the in the bakery. It depends. I mean, do you want to turn one of the fields into a, a one a once a one turn um, sugar cane field? Well. Um, so going on from our spot spraying conversation, I've never done sugar cane. It's absolutely shocking with one person. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a good job there's two of us then. So, I mean, you'd probably be all right. Yeah. Because so uh, send the soil samples. You'd be all right with two people because you could you could set either uh, an AI worker or or course by off. Yeah. As long as you put enough headlands in, it should be fine. Okay, okay. so we've sampled that. So how's that looking then, sample wise? Look. I think at this rate, you might be helping. If I seen as I've got the lime spreader on, you might have to take over loading some logs. Okay. Um, Sorry. It's, it's a little, little bit. Uh, it's a little bit slower than what I expected, but there you go. Just I'm, I'm, it's just I'm using the, uh, at the, moment. the spreader as a weight at the moment. So. Okay, well, saw something's max. We controls a bit of our pH with our nitrogen should come up. I'm hoping. So, okay, well, do you want me to come over then and give you a bit of a hand loading? Yeah, yeah. Box into the um, into the mill. I can do that. And since we have painted the ground in the last episode, it's gonna make us a lot, lot easier as well to. Um, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, you could. I mean, you could do that actually. Well. You could get rid of the stumps if you wanted to. Yeah, I'll do that quickly. Don't okay. worry. I'll, uh, I'll put this out of the way. I'll put, I'll put the stump grinder on the front again because it did seem to work quite well with the weight on and the stump grinder on the front. Okay. It was a bit strange looking, but it was pretty good. So, yeah, that's all right. There we go. Interesting to work out how much. Um, well, that is a that, yeah, it's a very good size loader on that now, isn't it? On, a, on this voucher. Yeah, it's. Um, I mean, it looks a little bit out of uh, out of sort, I suppose, but probably a little bit. Bigger. Probably should have gone on a medium frame tractor. Yeah, but you know, one day we'll have one. So I'm sure of that. Cog busting services. There we are. That's one. I'm not sure Damn. how I'm getting out of here with this. I'm gonna need you to move once you get that out. Go on, you go. I'll get that re. Oh, I don't know why it does that on some. Whoa. Oh dear. Oh, that went well. It'll be fine. I got it. You don't need to mess around cutting logs to. A good length for selling now that we're just making them all into planks. No, that's a good point, actually. I didn't think about that. Although, I, like to see you. I don't know, maybe it's more, I don't know, is it more efficient to. Is there like a mechanic in the game think, where no, six meter it, logs give you more wood in a sawmill? I don't see how that's really possible, can you? No, I don't, but. Who knows? Are we tempted to take that little small one down here? If you want to take it down, yeah, you take it down. 
I think they'll, it's they'll all probably go eventually. Yeah, maybe. Let's have a look. Oh, that went well. Not. That wasn't the best, I must admit. Alright, okay. Tiny bit left. No, not much there. It's, it's a tiny one and I've picked it up myself. Oh, I've just gone through the window of my tractor with it. I don't know a new Valtra. No, no, it's fine. It's Definitely it. not. Is it bulletproof windows like the uh, Cybertruck? Cybertruck. Yep, don't, just don't chuck a ball bearing at it. Apparently I heard there was some billionaire drowned in one because he couldn't break the window to get out. You're being serious? Yeah, that's what I was told, yeah, the other day. Someone, I mean, I haven't seen the news article, so, but yeah, that's what I heard. Okay. Mm, okay, that's not very good, is it? <laughs> it isn't, is it? All that money and you couldn't get out of your new Cybertruck. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if he was thinking about that. I've got that. I have. Right. And that's that done. Let's tidy that up nice, quite nicely. Okay. I have no that's idea good. how I'm holding this tree. You've got the mighty Ford, you see. No, but um, it's it just rested. Unless it's just perfectly balanced. It's just rested on top of the log forks. It's not actually gripped. Right, let's see how much is there then. It's not a bad load actually. Don't know why I've just done that, jumped out of the tractor while it's still going. Uh, so how much is in the saw? Oh, oh well. <laughs> 30, he's got now got 31,000. Right, so I think it had about 17 when I looked. So, okay. not bad, 14,000. Right, so should I go and, I'll tell you what, I'll put the pallet forks on. Oh, you've got them. I've got the pallet. Oh, I've got them. I was going to get you two more bags of. Was there a, there's here, a bag of it? lime over here though, isn't there? So I'll take that with oh, us. I'll bring that actually. Yeah. Are oh, you going to get it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll bring it down to the side of the field for you. At right. least you've got it then, haven't you? Yeah. So I'll just head over the field and I'll get it lime spreaded. Did it. There you go, Mel. Another two bags, sir. You seem to be Very eating good. the stuff, I think. What are you done? Put it on your wheat picks? <laughs> yeah, maybe. A bit of extra, um. Yeah. Oh. Be a bit chalky. Oh, hi. Bit, bit, bit limey. Way! <laughs> oh, dad joke. Love it. Right. Right, thank you. I shall there. get this finished now. Crikey, right. I am going to. Get cracked on in a second. Uh, sorghum on the cedar. Let's just detach the weight. I'm going to put it on the front. Get this sorted. Right. 
Um, right, let's see if we can get this all nicely configured up. Ooh. Logan. Oh, I see the and we're off. Right, nice. Right, I'm going to get cracked on with, with this, sir. Uh, and uh, I shall look forward to seeing everybody on the other side. Right, well, I think I've got the lime done. I did miss a tiny section here. I'm not sure if that's going to matter, but it's not seeing it, so... Um, I shall... I mean, really, I need to get the roller, but Grey Man's got a little bit to do first, so I might just head over... See um, if I can make a start on cutting down some more trees. Right, so Greyman's still fighting on with the uh, seeding and cosplay, so if I just come over here, um, we'll have a little look at uh, what our plans are for this area of our property. Okay, so the next plot of land that we want to buy is down here, which is field 33. And we already have this road in. Just ignore the uh, custom fields there. So we're going to bring in a road around here alongside of these rocks and then pretty much when we get to here we're just going to come straight down because i think that's about on the edge of our property there so we're going to make a start clearing out this bit of forest and then that opens up through into all this area we are also thinking of just slowly nibbling away at the trees down here so that we can expand this field uh, more into the edge of the map so let's have a quick look at which trees. I'll get my marker spray out. So I think we'll do this one here. And then this one. Probably this one. I think at some point. Yeah, so from about now, I just need to head sort of south. So we'll take down this one. And then this one here. Maybe this one. Mm, not sure about that one. Uh, we don't own that tree yet. Do I own this one? No. Alright, so that's a little bit to get started with. So I'll uh, do a little bit of a time lapsey jump cut type thing and I'll see you when when it's done Alright, so I've chopped down all the trees that I want to for now. Uh, so you can see we've got a bit of a road going through there. And the good thing about us having our sawmill, we don't have to worry about log size. So I can make them fit perfectly into this trailer. 
So let's get it loaded up and get the wood put into our sawmill. Okay, so I've got a trailer full here. There's actually one dropped off the back, but I'll pick that up on the way out because otherwise I'd run into the uh, canola field. Please don't fall out. There we go. Right, so yeah, I've got a full trailer load here and I know I need to go and pick up on the rolling of the field that Grey Man's about finished. So let's... Um, Let's get back to the farm, drop these into the sawmill, pick up the roller, and get that job started. Okay, so I'll just stick this one here. Put the trailer next to it and get them into the sawmill. There we go. Right, so let's get into the Hurleyman thingy, pick up the rollers, and we'll go and get that field finished off. Right, we've got this last little bit to do. The seed is doing a cracking job. We've only got 147 litres of fertiliser though. And, I don't know, we've got 66% left in the seed, so not too bad. We've got a little bit down here. That is definitely one of the reasons why I do enjoy doing uh, liming before seeding, etc. Because it does mean that you do know where you've missed. It does work really well, and I'm hoping Malk's on the way. In a um, minute. Just here now. Just ready oh. to start. Are you on the way? Oh, you're there. Right. Okay, that's good. I'm going to get this back over. Do we on great demand at the store? Do we know what that's for? I don't know. I um, can't really see it at the moment. Uh, let me have a quick look. So I can look through the list just in case. Oh, sugar beet cut. Right. Okay. Not not something we need. Oh, actually, our fertilizer's looking good. Oh, we're on 66 environmental score now. Oh, that's come up a little bit then. That's good. So 65 on the left, 66 on the right. So this field's looking good. P8 is very nice. Nitrogen is all in the green and yellow, so that's good. Uh, yield doesn't really know yet. Yeah, all looking good. That's good. So get the weeding done as well. Yeah. So I'll right. probably have to get sorted next I think or probably I don't know are we I think I think I'm gonna give you a bit of time yeah um, do you want me to do you want me to take any of the planks down to the store or anything like that uh, well I, I think money, the, the price well the price is still coming up on them so unless we need the money I think it's probably best just to leave them where they are but um, there are still some trees that I've chopped down in that little bit of forest I don't know if you want to go okay. on cut them up and bring them back over put them in the sawmill yeah yeah can do i may as well i'll i'll swap tractors then and then i'll put the i shall put the weeder on here though because what i think we'll probably do is probably finish the episode with the uh with the course play work and maybe doing the weeding on yeah, that field I th yeah i think that's a good idea since put it out, is one of the put our minions to work worst jobs possible isn't it oh it is yeah Right, so I'll just jump into a time lapse and I'll see you when it's finished.
I have got not a full load, but a pretty good load. And I think that's all the trees that Mount did. So, not bad at all. Wonder how Mount's getting on. I'm doing all right. Um, I've only got a couple of strips left now. So, nearly mm. there. Don't know if you want to. back end. I don't know if you want to go and pick up the weeder and we can bring it over and set our minion yep, off to do our, our work for us. Yeah, no problems. Give me a second. I'm literally just getting up over the bridge with no traction on the rear wheels. And take these few logs over to the sawmill. We must be we must be nearly forty thousand litres of wood now in that sawmill, probably. I'm not sure how much is in it after I filled it up. I'll have a quick look actually before okay. I sell it. I shall have a look and let you know. Just give me a second. Right. So thirty-seven thousand one hundred and ninety-three. Okay. 44,000. 44,000, that's good. I can't remember, did I did I think it did about 14,000 a month? Is that what I worked it out as? Yeah, I mean, we might need to restack some double stacks and planks pallets yeah. to allow it to be un not so full. Uh, water's looking good on the productions. Right, okay. Let me... I'm going to put this over here. We've got a lot more space now, actually. I don't know why we keep parking more here. <laughs> right. Bit of a silly place. Let me just have a quick look right. to make sure I've covered the whole field. Okay. Oh, There's a few tiny little train. patches where I've missed. Yeah. Not good enough. I'm going to have to get them. Come on, you know you want to. It's seeing them that's the problem. Well, do you want me to do, it on, do off the PDA for you? Yeah, go on then. Okay, where are you? Let's have a look before I bring this over. Um, it's rolling. Oh, okay. Um, literally there where you are. Yeah. I think there's one the way I'm yeah. heading now. Yeah, there's one straight down now. So if you just go straight down. That's it. Oh, yep. Keep in that direction. Straight down. Left a bit. Or well, my left, your right. That's it. Stop. Go for that. Straight down. Oh, I can, I can actually, I can see that one. And then you've got a tiny weeny one spot. Somewhere this so way. Been, yeah, keep going, turn a bit more to the right. And straight up, keep a bit more to the right. Straight up, a bit more to the right. That's it, a bit more. Last turn to the right. Right, 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 right. Yeah, go for that. There you go. Beautiful. Perfect. There's a tiny weeny bit right in the top corner, but it's, no, so, I'll leave it's not even a square, so. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. That's right. brilliant. Weeder. I'll bring the weeder over. We'll get the core space set off and let him trundle through. I think. And I think they will probably call it about done, because there's no point in us showing off a weeder during a. Uh, or of course by work you're doing the weeding because um yeah it's probably the most boring thing on earth and there's no difference in the field either so right uh we need to set enough headlands on this they went on the course plate yeah i'll give it a couple of headlands maybe even three i'm gonna do i'm gonna do three i think okay because the turning at the bottom there is a little bit it's not ideal. So, yeah. course play. First waypoint, no course. Three, yeah, three. Uh, I'll do sharp headlands, I always do. Generate. Yeah, okay. See how this goes then. Go. Ooh. Away you go. Oh, it's working. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Perfect. Right, leave that going. So there it goes. Well, hopefully everybody's enjoyed this episode. I think we're probably in the start of the next episode. We might have skipped on a month because we were talking about it during doing our time lapses, and we're not sure we're going to have anything to do next month. And no. We don't want to do any more logging because yeah, that'd be three we're, episodes we're of, fed logging, up of then. logging. Yeah. So everybody else must be fed up with logging. So. We're probably going to be not in uh, April, March, 
probably going to be in June, aren't we? Next, yeah, and that's, maybe. that's good because in June our planks should be at their maximum price or very close to it. So we can get yep. those all sold. There should be an absolute ton of them. Um, that should be good though. We can be probably, a good cash boost. Yeah, yeah, and we can probably get an exploit of land started. Um, yeah. And obviously one of these oh. two fields, well, the oats will be ready, so we'll get them harvested, stick them through the grain mill and the canola... I think we're talking maybe about looking for a silo so we can store yeah, them until the definitely. price is better so that's all to come in the next episode indeed well thank you everyone for watching and if you have liked the episode remember to like it on both channels watch it on both channels if you are new and you found these videos please subscribe to either channel either mine or Malps. and uh, we hope to see you again next time we do many thanks for watching see you later